Hello everyone. Welcome to the online course on urbanization and industrialization for Africa's transformation. This course is divided into five modules and based in its entirety on the economic report on Africa. The economic report on Africa is often abbreviated as ERA. We'll now present you with overviews on all the modules and I will be talking to module one. Module 1 of this e-learning course is based on chapters 1 and 2 of the Economic Report on Africa 2017. This being the first module, it will set the context for the entire course by focusing on recent economic and social developments in Africa. The aim of this module is to describe briefly how Africa has been faring in the last few years in economic and social terms, this in order to have a better understanding of the complexities and challenges that would be encountered in harnessing urbanization and industrialization for the continent's transformation. The first part of module one will focus on the recent economic developments in Africa. Specifically, it will discuss how Africa's rate of economic growth, despite the global economic slowdown, has been relatively encouraging, with signs of further improvement in the near future. It would then analyze Africa's trade performance and explain how the continent is reliant mainly on primary commodities for its exports. Additionally, questions of revenue resources for the financing of Africa's development needs will be addressed. Finally, a discussion on the medium-term economic outlook and risks in Africa will be done, followed by some pertinent policy implications necessary to revitalize Africa's growth. The second part of the same module, Module 1, will be based on the recent social developments in Africa. The key issues that will be addressed include poverty reduction in Africa, the role of women in Africa's growth, and rural-urban inequalities present in the continent. An endeavour will be made to present an overview of the extent to which economic growth in the continent in recent years has been translated into meaningful social outcomes. This module will finally wrap up with important conclusions and key messages related to the salient social development in Africa. Module 2 will be based on the third chapter of the Economic Report on Africa 2017. This module will give an overview of urbanization and structural transformation in Africa in order to ensure a transition to the core policy issues that will be addressed in the subsequent sections. The module will first of all give an appraisal of the status of urbanization in Africa in terms of its trends, patterns and drivers. This would be critical in enlightening participants with the scale of urbanization in Africa, as well as salient patterns and drivers associated with it. It would then assess how urbanization in the continent has unfolded in terms of its links to rural and agricultural economies, as well as its economic, social and environmental impacts. The pivotal issues of how industrial development in Africa is the missing ingredient for structural transformation would also be analysed. The module would additionally explain how the link between urban population, growth and income in Africa has up until now been weaker and, uh, than other developing regions when they were at similar levels of urbanisation. With one of the main reasons being premature deindustrialization in the continent. Another key impediment for the contribution of urbanisation to structural transformation in Africa which is an over-reliance of natural resources for economic and the high prevalence of consumption cities in the continent will also be discussed. Thereafter, the importance of translating economic growth into social and human development through inclusive growth that leads to the creation and expansion of decent work will be highlighted. 
In addition, some of the positive signs that inspire optimism in terms of urbanization can contribute to structural transformation in Africa will also be introduced in the discussion. The module will conclude by highlighting some of the myths to dispel as well as the key policy implications for African countries in terms of optimally using the potential of urbanization for structural transformation in Africa. Module 3 will be based on the fourth chapter of the Economic Report on Africa 2017, which is titled The Urbanization Industrialization Nexus. This module will start off by giving an overview of how urbanization presents a major opportunity for industrialization in Africa through rising urban demand and shifting patterns of consumption. A particular entry point for industrialization in Africa through urbanization, which is the food value chain and the promotion of rural urban linkages, will be discussed to illustrate this. After this, the potential of urban systems to be enablers of industrialization through the diverse advantages that cities provide for economic activities will be highlighted. This would entail how the characteristics of cities and their places in national and international systems of cities in terms of size, diversity of economic activities, and linkages to regional and international markets affect the locational choices and productivity of firms. Thereafter, the module will focus on some of the salient reasons which empower cities to act as enablers of industrialization. The foremost of these is the nurturing of agglomeration economies due to urbanization. The benefits of agglomeration economies from the context of Africa will be illustrated with the help of some recently done studies in different countries of the continent. Similarly, the potential of industry-specific zoning, special economic zones, and technology for harnessing the potential of urbanization for industrialization will also be discussed. Following this, some of the key barriers that are preventing the optimal utilization of urbanization for industrial development and structural transformation in Africa will be introduced. Some of the key barriers include suboptimal urban form, inadequate urban infrastructure, as well as inefficient land and property markets. The module will conclude by highlighting some of the important policy levers that can be used by African states to unleash the capacities of their cities to drive industrialization and structural transformation. Module 4 will be based on Chapter 5 of the Economic Report on Africa 2017. This module will continue on the theme of the previous chapters by focusing on urbanization and industrialization in Africa, but will do so from a practical point of view. Specifically, the module will consider actual practice and experience in Africa with regard to urbanization and industrialization, using a number of case studies and evidence from a variety of countries and cities. An endeavor will be made to include examples from different subregions of Africa and countries exhibiting varying levels of urbanization, urban population growth and industrialization. The first topic that will be addressed with the help of examples from African countries will be using urban demand to drive industrial development. A focus will be given on how different countries in Africa are using rising demand due to urbanization to facilitate industrial development in sectors such as agriculture and food processing, housing supplies, infrastructure inputs, as well as business services. Thereafter, the subject of ensuring balanced systems of cities in Africa will be under the spotlight. Evidence from a number of African countries will be introduced in terms of the different approaches to the development of balanced and well-functioning systems of cities, with the goal of facilitating industrialization and economic development. After that, the focus of the module will move to the different approaches for overcoming barriers to agglomeration economies within cities. Agglomeration economies give large cities substantial productivity advantages. However, many large cities in Africa fail to make optimal usage of agglomeration economies due to inadequate urban form, particularly poorly functioning land and property markets, inadequate mobility op options, and residential segregation. Some examples from countries that have managed to nurture well-functioning cities that harness agglomeration economies will shed light on the crucial topic. 
The module will wrap up with the presentation of integrated policies to link urban and industrial development in Africa, as well as ancillary issues which are critical for the practical implementation of policies. Module 5 will be based on Chapter 6 of the Economic Report on Africa. This being the last module of the course will synthesize the main findings from the previous modules in terms of their practical implications and focus on the key policy responses for harnessing the potential of urbanization for industrialization in Africa. The first part of this module will enumerate the key issues and responses with regards to urbanization and industrialization in Africa. Specifically, the importance for African countries to view urbanization and industrialization as interconnected using urban demand to facilitate industrialization, nurturing well-functioning and balanced systems of cities, and optimizing the potential benefits of agglomeration economies will be discussed. After that, the focus will shift on some of the tangible measures that can be taken to integrate urban and industrial policy in Africa. Specific mechanisms that will be addressed in terms of the potential for integrating urban and industrial policy include national development planning, frameworks, subsector targeting in industrial policies, spatial considerations in industrial policies, spatial targeting for national urban systems and urban policies. Finally, the module will also address some of the important practical considerations in terms of the implementation of policies for industrialization in Africa. The first of these is the means of financing urban development in a way which enables cities to support industrial development. Secondly, the importance of a sound institutional framework that can enable adequate coordination of urban and industrial policies in terms of planning and execution will be emphasized. Lastly, the importance of evidence-based data in order to understand the complexities of urbanization and its links to industrial development will be impressed upon. The module will conclude by highlighting the need for strengthened capacities as well as strong partnerships within and between African countries for linking the ongoing urbanization with the desired industrial development and structural transformation. I'm wishing you good luck with the course. We hope that you'll find it both useful and enjoyable.